All right, so in this video, I'm going to do uh, practice test one, problem 25, okay? So problem 25 is in the uh, plane sailing section, and here it is right here, okay? So we're going to do this one. A ship at departure latitude 3542 sails on a course of 235 for 205 miles. Find latitude uh, uh, of arrival and departure distance, okay? Great. So, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to do, similar to what I did before, is first I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out my quadrant, okay? Then I'm going to draw my triangle and populate it. And then I'm going to go to Bowditch and find my example. And then I'm going to follow those instructions, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do, step one, is what quadrant is this? So a ship at departure latitude 3542 north sails on a course of 235. So 235 is down here. So that is the southwest quadrant. Okay. So if I want to do some conversion of uh, uh, course angle and course, uh, that would be uh, course is going to be south, sea, west. Okay. And I may want to use that later on. Okay. But this is certainly the 235. Okay. That I got. This is 235, okay? All right, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to draw my triangle. So my tri I always draw the north, south, east, west thing first. So uh, I'm going to go 235 for 205 miles. What that means is that I'm going to do, if I'm going to go 235, I'm going south and west. This is my triangle, okay? So 235 is this. That's D. What's this over here? That's L. Just give me a second here. Yep. Okay. And this over here is P. And C is always going to be up here where I started drawing my thing from. Okay. So, uh, oh, by the way, for uh, that's not 235. The distance, these two are very similar. It's easy to get these confused. This is D. This is CN. Okay. So my distance is actually 205, all right? And uh, so uh, what they want to know is, oh, what is the latitude of arrival? Well, you know, I can draw a little bit more here, okay? This is actually L1 up here. This is where I left from. That's 3542. And uh, I went 200, uh, 205 miles on a course of 235, okay? And I end up down here. This is latitude 2, and what they want to know is, what is that? So I started at 3542. If I go 205 miles on a course of 235, what is that new latitude? So now I have to calculate little l, okay? I was given uh, C, well, I was given Cn and there. So what am I going to use for C in these formulas, okay? Technically, I should convert Cn to C, okay? So uh, it, Cn is 235. So what this is, is that this is, okay, 235 degrees is all of this. Technically, C is this internal angle. So that's 235 degrees, and this is 180. So technically, C equals 235 minus 180, okay, because, all right, and that is going to be, what is that? Uh, oh, I'm going to flip this over. Uh, 235 minus, what is that, 55? 35 and 20, 55. Okay? So that's 55. All right? Now, if you use 235 instead of 55, in this situation for a, a, a rum line sailing, you'd be okay. But if, later on, if you end up with a negative distance, you just strip the negative off. But if you use 235 in great circle, you're running you're a very great risk of coming up with the wrong answer. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that for now. I'll talk more about that in class. Okay, great. So now we're going to go to Bowditch. So I come over here to Bowditch. Problem is like one of these two examples. I was given a uh, course and distance and uh, find uh, the new latitude and the departure. So I come down here. And I'm like, okay, well, oh, this one, I was fine. Oh, the last problem we did was find course and distance. Well, I got course and distance now, so it must be this one. Oh, look, there's a distance and there's a course. So my problem is like this. And so I'm going to find the difference of latitude and departure. 
So it turns out that that problem is done up here. And this is all we really need. Now, unfortunately, it's not as well laid out as the previous example. Example two, they told me, do this formula and then do this formula, okay? And then this was the work being done over here. But it's not as well laid out here, okay? So let's just look at the example here for a second. Oh, 188 miles on a course is 005. So here's D188. That's what, this is what was given in this problem. And then they say, oh, solve this first, do this first, do this second. What are they solving for? L. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look at these formulas. I'm going to see, is there a formula for L? And there it is right there. So I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this formula. And I got D and I got C, so I can do it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for P. Because they say solve for P next. And there's the formula for P. So those are the two formulas I want. All right, so I'm going to go, first I'm going to do L equals D cosine C. And then I'm going to do P equals D sine C. Okay? Great. So let's calculate L. So what's my distance? They gave me my distance. It was 205 times the cosine of C. Now look, I was given 235. That's CN. That's the course to steer. Technically, I really should stick in C, the internal angle, which in this case is 55. Okay, but if you stick in uh, 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 235, you'll get the same value for L. It just might be negative. You just strip the negative off. But technically, you should put 55 in there. So what is 205 times the cosine of 55? So I go here, and I go uh, 205 times cosine 55, and I get... 117.6, okay? All right, great. So, now, what if I had done uh, uh, 205 times cosine of 235? Let's do that. 205 times cosine 235. It's the same number, 117.6, but you see that negative? I just ignore it. So, technically, I should not put in 235, but for a rum line sailing, you're okay. But don't do this for great circle. I'll talk more about that later. So, there we go. Great. So, that's my little L. All right. What am I going to do with that? They are asking me, so little L now is 117.6. So, I started at 3542, and I'm going, that was north, and I'm going to go south 117.6 miles. And they want to know what L2 is. So what I got to do with this now is I got to convert this from uh, miles or minutes of, of latitude to degrees minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide this by 60. And when I take 117 and I divide it by 60, 117.6 divided by 60, that's going to equal uh, 1.96. That's 1.96 degrees. Okay? So I'm going to take the 1 off there. That's going to be one degree, and now i got to convert the 0.96 to minutes. So to do that in my calculator, I just need the 0.96, and I'll multiply that by 60. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to subtract one. Now i got my 0.96. I stripped off the one degree, and now my tenths of, of degrees are left. Now I multiply that by 60, and I get 57.6. So 117.6 minutes is one degree, 57.6 minutes. So now I go L1, which was 35, 42 north, and my little L is now 1 degree, 57.6 minutes, and that's to the south, which means I'm going to, and then I'm going to add or subtract that. Well, if it's to the south and the northern hemisphere, it means i got to subtract. And now I'm going to do a little bit of math here. So uh, you, if you want, you can use this thing and you can, like, you know, do the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to borrow one degree from here. That makes that 34. And I'm going to add 60 to that. That makes that 102. Okay, because one degree here is 60 minutes over here. So now I got 102 minus 57.6. 102 minus 57.6 equals, oh God, 102 minus 57.6 equals, that's 44.4. And 34 minus 1 is 33. So my new latitude, L2, is 33, 44.4, okay? That's that. That's L2. 
Now I got to figure out uh, what the uh, distance, uh, what the, uh, yeah, what the departure distance is. How far did I go east-west? So I'm going to go P equals D. What do they give me for D? 205 times sine of C. Now I could use 235, but I might get that negative thing. I really, I should use 55. And I get 205 times sine of 55, and that is 167.9. What if I had done uh, 205 times the sine of 235? Okay, uh, 205. Okay, I get the same number, but it's negative, okay? So I strip the negative. Really, you should not stick that in. You should do this, okay? And that is it. That's the second answer. It's done.